Alright everyone, the makers of Kobe Yoko announced are making a fifth season, I am pumped! <laughs> hey guys, it's Pokemon Lover270 back with the second session of Pokemon Crystal. Uh, what we did was we chose our Pokemon, Oathkeeper, who is Cyndaquil. Yeah. And this will, this is, and my name is Riku. And my rival's name is Sora. If you couldn't guess already, this is a um, Kingdom Hearts themed um, playthrough. Like with Pokemon Blue, I do not catch anybody um, below level 5. Level 5 is my bare minimum. I don't know why, just 5 seems like an even number to me. Plus it's the level that my your starter starts out, so that's probably part of the reason. So anyway, basically, we talked to Mr. Pokemon, we battled somebody, and we met Professor Oak, and we investigated a break-in, which Sora caused. Good job, Sora. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts, I was actually playing that a bit earlier. It was amazing. I am going to catch this Sentrip because... I'm going to try. Like if I accidentally defeat him. Because this is the only place you catch Sentrip, I think. And he's like... You can't catch him, get him over level 5, so I'm going to catch him. Yeah, yeah. If everything goes as planned, um, Jack 2, the first session of that, will be uploaded with this. Ugh, so. If everything goes as planned. When acting as a lookout, it warns others of danger by screeching and hitting the ground with its tail. Danger, danger. Danger, danger. Oh. Crap. We had a nickname him. Force of habit. It's okay, I'm not really gonna use him anyway. I don't really use Sentret. So I'm gonna go put him in the PC box. Oh, man. Is this or is this not Kingdom Hearts themed? I must nickname everybody to have a Kingdom Hearts name. Unless it is physically impossible. Like later in the game we trade a Bell Sprout for a um, Onyx, and he gives us Rocky, and you can't change his name. So, deposit. Centret. For those of you who don't know, Oathkeeper is the name of the Keyblade that Kyrie gives you in Traverse Town. In the first Kingdom Hearts. In the second Kingdom Hearts, it is one of Roxas's Keyblades. Alright, we're going on. Yeah, I forgot to do something last time. Talk to this guy. You know Pokemon eat berries? Well, my Pokemon get healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. Yeah, they don't have, like, Petcha berries or anything. It's just berry. Check trees for berries. They just drop right off. Thank you, creepy person. I will give this to Oathkeeper. Since he used his other one, and now I will leave your house. And burn it to the ground. Oathkeeper, Ember! What? What do you mean you don't know it yet? Then we must teach it to you. Pidgey. Uh, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get this correct. It's not level 5. Today, oh, I forgot to tell you, today is May 30th, 10.45pm, and as of today, when I am making this video, there is currently six days of school left, so I am pumped for that as well, but mostly for Code Lyoko, scratch my eye, because Code Lyoko is amazing. 
Ja. All right, time to have a battle with the people who were battling earlier. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Sure, pick on the new kid. That's how it always is. Well, let me show you that when you play with fire, you're going to get burned. If he knew a fire type move. Oh, the keeper tackle him. I should have named him Oblivion. Just because when he becomes Typhlosion, he's just going to be like, Rah! And amazing and everything. Yeah. No, we'll keep her. Barry. Tackle him. Boom. We're going to get to the next city today. Or tonight. Ugh, I lost again. Dog on it. Who says that anymore? I mean, even in 2001, who says that? Me just standing here. <laughs> You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. I don't have to do anything. Well, actually, I do. What I have to do is get to the next town. <sighs> oh my god, I could not think of doing this game as a Nuzlocke challenge. No. No. I mean, not that it's impossible, it's doable. It's just very hard with this game. Check out the PokeKid78. He's actually doing a Nuzlocke challenge on Pokemon Leaf Green. So. Check him out. There is one glitch that I know of in Gold and Silver that I can do. But you can't do it in crystal because it's a special version. And my gold is screwed up. It doesn't keep a save file. So I'm, I can't show you that glitch. Maybe if one of my friends lets me borrow it. Like one of theirs, I can. But I don't know. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah. She's not a trainer. I'm not a trainer. But if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Alright then. Oh, I forgot he was there. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Let me guess, you have like six Caterpies, right? Oh no, two. Caterpie. Yep, yep. Oh, Keeper's gonna tackle you. Ed Bass. Good job, Oath Keeper. Good job. Meh. <laughs> ah, my ear is itching. I mean, it's itching. Hold on, I need to scratch this ear. Eh, 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 eh. Ah, good. The ear has been scratched. But I was playing Kingdom Hearts earlier. Trying to get all the synthesis items to get the ultimate keyblade. And it's kind of hard. Because the enemies I'm supposed to defeat to get certain items don't want to give me an item. Even with Lucky Strike equipped with all of my guys. It's like, you can't win. Well, you can win. It just won't give you the items you need. So sad. Pidgey, be level 5 and I'll catch you. No, you're not level 5. And since I'm running low on health, I'm just gonna run away from you. If I had more health, I'd battle him. Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Oh, hey, free stuff. Potion. Nice. Uh -huh. 
I walked too far today looking for Pokeball. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. <sighs> if I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. <sighs> There's actually... You actually deliver a sparrow to him with mail. Or you could catch, like, a random Pokemon, like a Caterpie, give the mail to the Caterpie, and give him the Caterpie instead, so you get, like, a free sparrow out of the deal. I'll be back to battle you guys in a minute, and I did not want to do that! Meh. Bellsprout. Alright, uh, level 5. I'm actually gonna catch and keep this one. Tackle! Boom! Ooh, a vine with attack against a fire type. Like, that's gonna do anything. Yeah. Uh, Alright, time to throw the Pokeball. Pokeball, go! Come on. Boom. But I never find level 5 Bell Sprout. I only find level 3s. Nice, so I'm just I'm just gonna keep this one. If it if it notices anything that moves, it immediately flings its vine at the object. Okay, hold on. Next time I am just gonna start reading the whole thing. Maybe Ah I did it again! Freaking force of habit! <sighs> I'm gonna find another one. I'm sorry. Why? Bell Sprout. Level five. Yeah, it is. All right. This is okay. Meh. I even have the perfect name for him. It's after another Keyblade. Ooh. Potion. It's um another Keyblade name. So. From the first game. So. Unless I have to, I... All my Pokemon are going to be nicknamed um, Kingdom Hearts themed. Like the Onyx we're about to get, I he's going to be Rocky until I get like an Onyx and like Blue or something and trade him over. All right. Yes. This is named after the Keyblade you get in Deep Jungle. After completing Tarzan, it's a Keyblade. It's actually two words, but since you can only use ten characters, I just named him Jungle King. I, I found a good Pokemon in a dark cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. Yeah, another reason why you want to get this Onyx is because Faulkner has bird types. So, Onyx will have great defense against him and everything. I collect Pokemon. Yeah, Bellsprout? I'm going to trade it for my Onyx. I'm going to trade just regular Bellsprout. Okay, connect the game link, like, the game link cable. Goodbye, Bellsprout. This is taking forever. Yeah, they actually give him names in this game. Kyle! Bell Sprout was sent to Kyle. For Riku's Bell Sprout, Kyle sends Onyx. Kyle bids farewell to Onyx.